With our busy lives, every second or minute wasted navigating our computer can add up quickly. Coming up, I'll share with you a dozen time-saving tips and tricks to help boost your productivity when using Windows 10. When utilized, these methods can help to make you a Windows 10 ninja, saving you time. Let's get started. These simple tips coming up in this video are primarily for newer users, so nothing here will be overly difficult. In other words, you won't need a computer science degree to follow along with any of these tips. When booting up your computer, having unnecessary programs loading at startup can have an impact on your overall boot time. So let's first modify the programs enabled at startup. Go find an empty space in the taskbar, right click, and select Task Manager. Let's go to the Startup tab. You'll now see a full list of the programs that want to start when your computer boots up, along with that program Startup Impact. To stop any of them from launching at startup, select the program in the list. I'll go with Plex Media Server, and then in the lower right, select Disable. You'll want to do this for every program you know you don't need at startup. One further note, if you're still using a hard disk drive, I'd recommend upgrading to a solid state drive. Having an SSD will also drastically reduce the time for your operating system to fully launch. If you work from home or perform some other function where you don't want to be interrupted, those nagging notifications on Windows 10 can be a huge distraction. To keep them from taking time away from completing your task, go to the search bar on the lower left and begin typing notifications until you see Notifications and Actions Settings. When it shows up, click on it. To completely stop all notifications, go to Get Notifications from Apps and Other Senders and switch the toggle to off. I would say that's the extreme method to never get any notifications. The more practical way of doing this would be to leave the switch turned on and below it, click the link where it says Focus Assist Settings. Having Focus Assist set to off means you will get all notifications. The other options are Priority Only, which you can customize by clicking the link, and there's Alarms Only. By default, I have this turned off and have set automatic rules below to not be disturbed. The rules I have active are during these times and when I'm playing a game. Clicking on any of the rules will allow you to change the settings. If you don't want to use Focus Assist, let's go back to the Notifications and Actions screen. If you scroll down, you can go through the list and choose the ones that get the privilege of sending you notifications at any time. For example, let me find it here. I keep the Feedback Hub turned off. It's always wanting to know how it's doing. I swear it's worse than having an insecure girlfriend. If you're someone who likes to open multiple programs on your desktop, there's a quick way to fix the clutter, which some of you may have seen in one of our other videos. Instead of minimizing each program individually, go to the title bar of the program you're working with, left click and hold, and give it a good shake and then shake again to bring everything back. Another way to perform the same trick is to use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus the home key. Staying organized will make your workflow faster. For the programs you use the most, it's best to have those pinned to your taskbar instead of having to find the program every time you need it. If you have a program on your desktop, in this case I have Inkscape, right click on it and select Pin to Taskbar. And there it is. To pin from the Start menu, let's head over here to the left, left click on the Start menu, and find the program. In this case, I'm looking for Handbrake. Right click on it, go to More, and select Pin to Taskbar. And there it is. Pinning your favorite programs to the Taskbar should save you a quite a bit of time. Jump lists are a cool feature to take advantage of with your favorite programs in the taskbar. When you right click on an icon, it will show you the most recent files or websites open and give you shortcuts to common tasks associated with that program. You can also pin any file or website to the list by hovering your mouse over it and clicking the pin icon. It will show up at the top of the jump list to quickly open it. If you want to open those programs on your taskbar quicker than using your mouse or trackpad, use the keyboard shortcut, Windows key plus a number. 
As you can see with this Microsoft Power Toys overlay, this only works with the first 10 programs on the left side of the taskbar. In this example, File Manager is Windows plus one, Firefox is the Windows key plus six, and Spotify is the Windows key plus zero. To access more programs pinned on your taskbar, use the keyboard shortcut Windows key plus T. A white box will appear around the first program icon on the left. If you continue pressing T, it will go from left to right to each pinned program. Let's go over here to Share X. To open a highlighted program, hit Enter on your keyboard. While we're on the subject of keyboard shortcuts, using them as often as you can will save you a good bit of time when performing tasks. Here are several that are quite useful, including Ctrl plus C to copy, Ctrl plus V to paste, Alt plus Tab to cycle through your open programs, the F5 key to refresh Active Window, and there are many others to speed up your workflow. Here's something that's great. You're not limited to the keyboard shortcuts as part of Windows 10. You can also create your own to open programs faster. For this example, we'll use VirtualBox. Right click on the program and select Properties. Go to the Shortcut tab, click inside the field for Shortcut Key. Right now it says None. On your keyboard, press the key you'd like to assign to that program. I'll go with the letter V. It will default to Control plus Alt and the key selected. There's no need to select Apply to make the change. Just click OK. You'll get this pop-up warning that says you'll need to be an administrator to change these settings. Click Continue. Now just use the keyboard shortcut assigned to that program to open it up. The snap feature is extremely useful when multitasking, saving you the time and hassle when managing more than one program. Select any open window. I'll go with Vivaldi. On your keyboard, using a combination of the Windows key and the arrow keys will let you arrange the windows to your desired position. You could have it cover one quarter, one half, or the entire screen. I'll leave it on one half. That one didn't quite snap well enough. Let me try that again. There we go. When you let go of the Windows key, it will let you select any apps that you currently have open to fill the other half of the screen. Here's a cool trick I just learned about recently. When you have two windows snapped side by side horizontally, they can be resized at the same time. Using your mouse, move your pointer in between both windows at the intersection point. Now left click and drag, moving the pointer left or right to change the size of the windows. Then let go. If you have folders that you work with on a regular basis, the Send To Context menu can be invaluable in saving you time hunting down folders. As you can see, normally you don't have that many choices. Here's how you add a new folder to the Send To menu. With File Explorer open, click into the location bar and type shell colon send to. And this should have no spaces. And hit enter on your keyboard. Just outside this window, I created a shortcut to one of my folders on my desktop, which I will now drag into this window. Now when you right click on any item, that new folder will be an option for you to use in the Send To menu. While we're here, let's take a look at something else quickly. When you launch File Explorer, it will open to one of two locations, Quick Access, which we're on right now, or this PC. If you're using the jump list properly in the taskbar, Quick Access is redundant. Instead, you might prefer it opening to this PC. So here at the top, let's go to the View tab. Then on the ribbon to the right, click on Options. In the General tab here at the top, there's a drop-down menu next to Open File Explorer 2. You have the choice of Quick Access or this PC. I prefer this PC, so I'll go with that one. Then select OK here at the bottom. Now when you launch File Explorer, it'll open to the This PC location. I find this quicker and more practical when diving into folders looking for lesser used files and folders. Thanks for watching. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up. What time saving tips or tricks do you use with Windows 10? Let us know about them in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell notification icon to stay up to date with the latest on Windows 10 and other tech related stuff here on Tech Umbo.